What's going on everyone? Tane here and welcome to a new NASCAR Let's Play. And for this one I'm going to be doing NASCAR Thunder 2002 for the PS1. For this one I'm going to be doing the full season with Fantasy Tracks for 41 races. And I'm going to do just one race each. And I picked Dale and our junior for this Let's Play, my favorite driver. And we're going to start off with the Great American Race, the Daytona 500 from the World Center of Racing at the birthplace of NASCAR, the Daytona International Speedway in Daytona Beach, Florida. So start your engines and get ready for a new NASCAR Thunder 2002 for the PS1 Let's Play presented by EA Sports. Here's the starting lineup. There's the guy I picked, my favorite driver, Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the number eight car on the pole. The number 20 car, Tony Stewart. Second on back are Tony Stewart. The number 10 car, Johnny Benson. There's Johnny Benson. The number 18 car, Bobby Labonte. Followed by Bobby Labonte. The number 25 car, Jerry Nadeau. Like last game, there are going to be 15 competitive drivers and three non-competitive drivers in this game. And the first one we're going to do to start off with is this guy. Car number 25, driven by Jerry Nadeau, who starts in fifth place in his number 25 UAW Delphi Chevrolet for Hendrick Motorsports. The number 17 car, Matt Kenseth. Followed by Matt Kenseth. The number 99 car, Jeff Burton. There's Jeff Burns Ford in seventh. The number 24 car, Jeff Gordon. There's Jeff Gordon, who missed the top 10 in points in the last Let's Play of the PS1 version of NASCAR 2001. Would love to rebound for more victories, as well as the top 5 spot in the points. He'll start at the number 8 spot in his number 24 the number Chevrolet. Car, Ricky Run. There's Ricky Run. He's ready to go. The, the same car, for Bill Elliott. But we got some new faces in this game for this Let's car, Play. Kevin Harvick. Like with Kevin Harvick, the rookie, he starts 11th in his number 29 GM Goodrich Service Plus Chevrolet. The O2 car, Ryan Newman. And also Ryan Newman in the O2 car. He starts 12th in his O2 Altel Ford. The second occupant of guy for this race. The number two car, Rusty Wallace. There's his Penske teammate, Rusty Wallace, in 13th. And the Dale Jarrett's Ford car, in Dale 14th. The third and non-competitive guy is... The number 30 car, Jeff Green. Jeff Green in the number 30 America Online Chevrolet for Richard Childress Racing. The number 22 car, Ward Burton. Ward Burton starts 16. Then it's Mark Martin and Sterling Marlin. The number 6 car, Mark Martin. The number 40 car, Sterling Marlin. Sterling Marlin will round out the field in his number 40, what should be the Coors Light Dodge. Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s car is supposed to say Budweiser. Rusty Wall is supposed to say Miller Light. Mark Martin is supposed to say Viagra. But you know why? EA Sports has to make it appropriate for kids, unfortunately. But oh well, that's okay. But anyways, let's get this Let's Play started right now. Presented by EA Sports. Green flag is out, and we're racing at Daytona for the Daytona 500. In the turn one, they come. Earnhardt Jr., ahead of steam of on Tony Stewart. But look out, here comes Tony. What the, where did he come from? Oh, now you're starting something. David Beckham as the assistant cashier at the Home Depot. Oh, Tony. We're door slamming each other. This is awesome. This is the best racing. Oh, now Tony will take the lead away. Trying to bring Johnny Benson, but no, look out. He'll bump him out of the groove, causing Benson and Bobby Labonte to go by him. And Dale Earnhardt Jr. will lead the first lap of this race and picks up five bonus points. Johnny Benson was not in NASCAR 2001, but he was able to make his return to, on this game, NASCAR Thunder 2002. 
The last time he was in it, the 26 Cheerios car. But now it's the number 10 Valvoline Pontiac. All right, these guys got a lot of catching up to do. As we come up a turn four to get lap number three, and darn it, I just, just tapped the fence. Not too bad. All right, let's go on board. around this two and a half mile facility known as the World Center of Racing. Whoa, nearly lost it there. Whew, that was close. Seven to go at Daytona, and these guys got a lot of catching up to do as the leader goes into turn number one. Before we move on to the next event, the Door Loop 400 at the Rock, North Carolina Speedway. These guys are coming fast as we come to six laps to go at Daytona. Oh, I had to keep it straight to avoid turning myself into the grass right there because that thing will turn you down into the infield and crash you into the wall real fast. So I did a good job just keeping it straight and just try not to panic and just keep calm and just drive and focus on the finish line. Oh, we're coming to halfway this time around here at the World Center of Speed. This place has got the best beach and the fastest food. It's a great day for racing. Five laps to go at Daytona. Oh, no, 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 I had to keep it straight again, nearly lost it right there, got to be careful on that. The car is supposed to say Bud King of Beers, but instead it says Dale Earnhardt Jr. on there, because EA Sports has to make it appropriate for kids, but oh well, that's okay. I heard that Budweiser number eight car is coming back on November 23rd at Florence Speedway. I'm pretty pumped up about that. Finally, he's got that number eight back. Four laps to go at Daytona. In a turn one, they come. too far away from the pack of cars. I did send it to veterans to make it a little more challenging. Last last play, I didn't qualify. I pretty much just started last and drove myself through the field. But now for this time, I'm definitely qualifying. Three to go. Back to turn one goes Dale Earnhardt Jr. and the rest of the field. Oh, in the fence. No, oh, I got the fence. You gotta be kidding me.
Loot out. If he doesn't watch out, he's going to lose a tire. Two laps remaining at Daytona. Only two more laps at Daytona. These guys know it's time to go for the victory. One to go. Here we go. Last Only one more time around at Daytona for the Daytona 500. Four more turns to go into turn number one. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is holding on to a strong lead over the field as he comes off turn two for the final time. More than 185,000 fans are on their feet screaming wildly for their guy. So, so far successful. Trying to hold on for the win in turn three. Try, trying to win once again at the birthplace of NASCAR, Daytona Beach, Florida. And he's going to do it again at the World Center of Racing. Dale and our junior will win the Daytona 500. He's got to be happy about his first win of the season. So far, a dominant performance. So Dale Earnhardt Jr. first, Johnny Benson second, Tony Stewart third, Bobby Labonte fourth, Matt Kenza fifth, Jeff Burton sixth, Jerry Nadeau seventh, Jeff Gordon eighth, Ryan Newman ninth, Rusty Wallace tenth, Mark Martin eleventh, Kevin Harvick twelfth, Ricky Rudd thirteenth, Warburton fourteenth, Dale Jarrett fifteenth, Jeff Green, 16th. Sterling Marlin, 17th. Bill Elliott finishes dead last in 18th. Jerry Nadu, Ryan Newman, as well as Jeff Green will take points from that race. Ryan Newman, or no, Jerry Nadu was the highest finisher, finishing in 7th, taking 146 points with him. Ryan Newman will follow with 138. Jeff Green will follow with 115. Then back down to Bill Elliott. Up next is North Carolina. 